let's access Photoshop Web. What is the address for you to access Photoshop Web or Photoshop Express? You go to photoshop.adobe.com. Photoshop.adobe.com. Just type it in. And as you would see here, what can you do with this web version of Photoshop? Okay? Ano magagawa nyo dito sa, ano, sa web version na to? Ang talong, ano yung pwede nyo magawa dito? What you can do inside of this web version of Photoshop is ito. You can do image resizing, crop and straighten, touch up, adjust image, remove background, and art effects. I'm going to give you a demonstration of all of this. The good thing about this version is that it has sample images that you can already use. So, hindi nyo na kailangan pang mag-upload, maghanap ng magandang uh, file. But you have the choice. If you want, you can just upload a file. But in this session, I'm just going to stick on the sample image. Okay? So, sample image muna tayo. Sample image. Okay lang po kung walang Adobe ID, kaso nga lang may, may limit kayong ma, ma-reach. May mga limits. For example, you cannot use some uh, filters, mga ganyan. Okay? So let's use this photo, this uh, good-looking gentleman here. Let's click on that. And as you would see, this is Photoshop that you never need to install. And it's totally free. And you can do your specific editing task. Number one, if you just want... Yes, kahit ano pong ano, resolution ng photo dito, as long as you can just upload this to the Photoshop web, pwede nyo gawin dito. Pwede nyo gamitin. The good thing is, if you just want to resize things, if you want to crop and straighten, you do touch up, image adjust, remove background and artifacts, pwede nyo gawin dito agad-agad. You don't need to install Photoshop or even do a portable version of Photoshop. And it's totally free. Okay? You just need to sign up here. Okay. So let's do the image resize. So if I click on this, this will give you the common sizes on which it will give you recommendations. For example, if I want this to be uh, 6 by 8, meron sila nakalagay dito, pwede nyo i-type in dito. Let's say, uh, if I want this to be 600 by at dimension, pwede nyo gawin yan agad dito. Okay? So pwede nyo gawin yan. Pwede kayo mag-resize dito, pwede nyo siyang i-blow up. Let's say, let's make this... Uh, uh, scale on 150% and just definitely do that that's simple resize image click on resize image and this is automatically saved on this file uh, this image was resized ganun kadali the next one is you can also do crop and straighten as you would see here if I click on that crop and straighten you can just do specific transformation on this. You can also do straightening. For example, medyo crooked yung inyong photo, pwede nyo straighten dito. Right? You can also flip it. Let's say, I want to flip this. Gusto kong ilipat sa kabilang side. Diba? Gusto kong i-flip. Kunyari, meron ko yung mga photos na ganito siya. So, you want to flip this. You can just use this uh, website. Automatic na siya agad. And then, you can just also use what we call the presets inside of this. For example, if you want to do 4x3, 3x2, 16x9, you can just edit this to your heart content. Yeah, to your heart's content. For example, this one. Okay? And then let's crop the image here. I'm just going to cancel this. The good thing is you can have the access on the following presets. Yeah. Pwede nyo agad hanapan nyo. Ano bang, ano, ano bang size nito? Ano bang size nito? Pwede nyo siyang gawin. Okay, we're just doing this. Okay, so the next one would be touch up. For example, if I click on this, touch up, I can just do brushing on specific. For example, here, uh, I'm just going to zoom in. Let's say I want to clean up some of this. Let's say you can do this. Click on this. I'm using the uh, uh, pan tool. Yeah. You can just do this. For example, I, kung gusto nyo agad na mag-heal ng inyong mga photos, you can just do this. Without even installing any application. Okay? It's using content aware. So imagine, you can just do something like this on just the browser. 
even if you're on a smartphone, kung may smartphone kayo, punta kayo sa photoshop.adobe.com and then you can easily do the following task. So the next one is this. Uh, after the touch up, it's automatically saved as you would see here. Let's go to adjust image. As you would see here, pwede natin siyang baguhin. There are presets that you can use. For example, if you want to experiment with the color. Let's say, let's make this vivid. Yan. Uh, you can also adjust this preset. If I click on that, you see, it's almost similar to Lightroom with the controls such as exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and effects. Even effects. Let's say, if you want to do vignette. Diba? Okay, I'm just going to do some vignette. I'm just going to resize this. Yan. Nakita nyo? Nagkaroon siya ng vignette. Click and hold to compare. This is before and after. Before, after. Kapag nakapag-login po kayo, all of these presets is available upon use. Kaya po mas paganda, you log on to the account. To your Adobe ID account. Okay? Yan. As you would see here, color. You can just adjust the temperature of this. Let's say, let's make this that, that, like that. Or medyo bluish. Sabi natin, for some strange reason, pwede nyo gawin yan. Okay? Yan. So, this is just for demonstration purpose as you would see here. Yan. I can just always reset this. Click on reset and all of my settings are gone. Okay? If I want to make this warm as a photo like that, uh, let's, go low, let's go back to adjust image. Okay? If I click on that, yan siya. Okay? And then let's go on remove background which is uh, a great a great feature within the Photoshop uh, Express web. As you would see here, upon clicking remove background, it will automatically analyze the photo and remove the background just as nice as this. Nakita nyo? You seen the results? As you would see, pwede pa kayong maglagay ng background dito. For example, if I want to put a white background on this, just click on it. For example, if I want to put uh, other colors, let's say, <laughs> tulad nito, you can just specify what type of color you want to replace on this. Okay? For example, I put this or yung masakit sa mata na ganitong kulay. <laughs> Yan. And just click on apply and wala, ganun kadali. Using Adobe Sensei or artificial intelligence, nagagawa niya agad 'yon. Or if you want, if I if I want, I could just undo this. Go back to remove background and let it analyze again. Kung gusto nyo siyang i-save as uh, transparent, pwede nyo i-save as transparent. There is no manual controls as of the moment for this. So, gumagamit lang talaga siya ng artificial intelligence to deal with this. Ganun talaga yung mangyayari. So, yan. So, apply natin to. And the next one is, let's go to art effects. As you would see here. Let's go to art effects. And, ito yung sinasa binabanggit ko sa inyo. If you're not signed in, you are... Uh, being limited to using the art effects. Yeah. So for example, if I use oil paint, let's say click on oil paint here. This will automatically analyze the image and apply the art effect on it. Ganun siya kadali. For example, if I want to do cartoon, pwede ko rin gawin yan. So ganun siya ka, ganun siya ka express or ganun ka easy yung mga task na pwede nyong gawin using this Photoshop version that you don't need to install and it's also for free. Yan. Pwede rin siyang gawin sa ano? Pwede rin siyang gawin sa inyong mobile app. You, if you have Photoshop Express, pwede nyo rin gawin sa inyong mobile phone. Pwede nyo gawin yan. So next natin, how can we download this? Click on download. Click on download and as you would see, there is only two options on this. Okay, you can download this as a JPEG with a slider kung gaano kataas yung quality or a PNG on which it will preserve the transparency. Okay? So in our case, ilagay natin siya ng ganyan. So gawin natin JPEG, ano, J, JPEG na lang muna. And then let's uh, make this uh, low quality, lalagyan naman good quality. Dimensions is uh, 1279 by 1919 pixels. Let's download this. Let's make this a uh, photo. And so download natin. Click download. And as you would see, download has started. Ayan. So 
nagsasabi siya, ayun, na-download niya na agad. And then, kung gusto niyo pang i-take your edits to the next level, you can use the the prime version which is yung Photoshop and Photoshop Lightroom as you would see here, di ba? 